iRacing is a massive game with so many cars, tracks, and gameplay modes that there is a vast amount to learn about the platform. With so much to learn, oftentimes little tips and tricks that can help make your gameplay experience even better, make for a bunch of laughs, or even cut 7 minutes off your outlaps of the Norse life can be missed or even entirely forgotten about. Today, I'll walk you all through a host of things I've learned in 3 years on the site that even to this day, plenty of members are unaware of. Before we dig into things, if you do enjoy, a friendly reminder to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos, and also go check me out on Twitch where I stream throughout the week on several games. But with that out of the way, let's dig in to our first one. First up is one that I know many people are unaware of, is that by setting up a hosted session within iRacing and going into the optional settings tab, you will eventually come across an option for the hardcore level within the server you are about to create. One of the options in the drop down menu will be for allowing all driving aids plus relaxed camera views. This allows you to experience iRacing from an entirely new perspective, literally. Cockpit camera is still available if you want to use it, however you will also gain the ability to drive via nose camera and the chase camera as well. While this does serve a minimal purpose in the grand scheme of things, can be a nice change of pace, especially if you are mucking around and having fun with friends. By using the control F12 function, you can adjust these two camera angles to suit as well, so you can turn the camera into a close-up, quite far away, or even turn iRacing into a top-down racer. Why you would do this, I have absolutely no idea, but the sky is the limit. Continuing on with this theme of things you can do within iRacing that slightly ruin the immersion and simulation of it all, is the ability to pause your game. Yep, you can pause iRacing too. Now, of course this can only be done in offline sessions such as solo test sessions, but now with the recent addition of iRacing AI, this also works here too. I find this incredibly useful, especially if let's say you are practicing your tyre wear for an upcoming 24 hour race, and you want to know if you can double stint your tyres. You're halfway through your second stint and then suddenly your phone rings or somebody is at the door. Now it's no longer an issue as you hit the pause or brake button on your keyboard and BAM! You'll be able to resume without pulling your car over and affecting tyre wear temperatures, pressures and ruining your reliable tyre wear data. I would like to quickly add here though, just for your benefit, that I have found that Virtual Racing School's telemetry logger can occasionally get a little unhappy with you and it stops recording data correctly after unpausing. So if you do use this app, be sure to disable the logger and re-enable it upon restarting. Next up, we fly over to Germany to the Nürburgring Nordschleife where this track becomes even more unique than it already is. The Nürburgring is a massive circuit and learning it at first can be extremely tricky for beginners with the longest configuration featuring 169 corners. Nice! That means, more often than not for beginners, they'll find themselves going off the circuit and crashing and having to restart from the very beginning. This isn't true however on iRacing as the developers have made it so if you reset your car or making your way around the lap, you can reset to the nearest flag marshal post around the circuit rather than returning all the way to the pits. There is a considerable number of reset points around the lap with some being used to people's advantage. By parking your car on the Nürburgring combined pit entry just before the cones and resetting, you'll be teleported onto the Dottinger Ho straight just a few kilometres away from the start finish line. This is an excellent advantage if you want to start a flying lap in a practice session without doing an entire 8 minute or longer route lap. If you find yourself in a car that has a whole bunch of setup options in the garage, sometimes it's easy to get super frustrated at how slow the scrolling can be, especially if you are in a car with a large fuel tank and are now preparing to do a qualifying run. The good news is, merely holding shift will allow you to scroll through much faster and arrive at your fuel load or damper setting destination much faster. Time saving is always worthwhile, even if it's not on the track itself. Although being comfortable with your surroundings is also very useful, and this extends to the in-game heads up display too. By pressing Alt K on your keyboard while in the car or in the spectating menu, you'll be able to move around almost every element on the screen from the virtual mirror, your delta bar, pit lane speed pop up and even your pedal inputs. You name it, you can do it. Around every single track within iRacing, you can find two very familiar faces to the iRacing community. 
Steve Myers, the executive vice president and executive producer at iRacing.com, as well as Dale Earnhardt Jr. can be found dotted around at random locations at all circuits. This has turned into a huge manhunt within the iRacing community as drivers try to find the troublesome duo. Whether this is in the Charlotte Motor Speedway VIP booth, on top of a castle at Donington, in a barn at Fairbury Speedway, or even inside a house at Lernerville? No, 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 no. Serious note for a second here. Steve and Dale, that is trespassing. Get out of somebody's house before somebody sees you. Oh, God, oh, fuck. <laughs> Those are just some tips and tricks that can help you progress through the world of iRacing faster, enjoy it from a different perspective, or even just give you a chance to slow down and look through some of the beautiful scenery dotted around the world. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hey, come follow me on Twitch.tv as well, where I'll be streaming iRacing and other games throughout the week. But until next time, I'll see you later, gut. Oh, for f**k's sakes, YouTube!